Hello Enchanted Ones, and a blessed Ostara to all. Today, join me as I celebrate with simple DIYs and rituals and use the metaphors of spring within the woods to help gather inspiration to make some magic this year. So sit back, relax, and step into the Enchanted Woods with me. Ostara is the spring equinox, meaning there are 12 hours day and 12 hours night. It is a time where energy is growing, fertility is in the air and the leaves are bursting and filling with the new energy. The first thing I have done this Ostara is to add another drawing of the wheel of the year into my book of shadows using the inspiration of what is around me to help. You may already have the first signs of spring, or the spring energy might be very soon to come, but nonetheless, nature is growing once again and the land is getting swept of the old and in with the new, and many call this nature's spring clean. And this Astara, I am going to be having a spring clean for my mind and for my home. It has been consistently warmer and quite sunny recently, so I have been tidying up my garden after the winter and I love the feeling of welcoming spring to the garden. Greeting each returning sprout as if it were a dear friend and seeing many plants arise again that I thought wouldn't make it past the winter. Welcome. A spring clean is essential for clearing any negativity and stale energy from the darker half of the year, making the air lighter and ready for the new. You may also find yourself starting a magical herb garden, but I am to show you how I do that next week. Although it may look like I've achieved a lot in my garden, the truth is my body isn't always this energised this time of year. In fact, I often feel that during early spring my brain is ready to start new projects, but my body hasn't got the energy to carry them through, leaving me feeling a little overwhelmed. But it just means one thing, I need to recharge after the winter. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I turn to my herb garden, and now as they are beginning to sprout again, it is a great time for some fresh herbal teas, and today I am making a lemon balm infusion. Lemon balm can help soothe and calm the mind, relieving it of unwanted thoughts, and just giving it space, ready for the new energy and perhaps new ideas to be planted. I put a little honey to sweeten, and I was off to the enchanted woods to recharge. And recently, within the woods, I have been going to a very secret place. A little island that no one knows about. I try to come here as often as I can these past few weeks, not to walk, but to bathe taking my shoes off and just trying to ground myself and get my body onto the frequency of spring. And well, you can see why I come here. When golden hour hits, the sun shines through the branches at the end of the stream and beams through. Forest bathing can help us in so many ways. The gentle swaying of the forest and the trickling water can help de-stress our minds. The sun helps to strengthen our vitamin D levels and mood. The sweet spring air feels so pure in our lungs. And even though I'm just sitting down, I'm regaining the energy that has been sleeping over the winter months. It can even help in strengthening our immune systems. 
If you can't get outside, just opening a window and listening to the birds can shoo our troubles away, hearing the sheer energy and knowing there is so much going on here at the moment, so many nests being built and insects waking up, makes me want to give back and help. So, this is Stara. I am to make a very simple, very fun bird feeder, and it takes no time at all. All you need is a fir cone. I found these very large fir cones, some string or twine, peanut butter, and a variety of seeds that are good for birds. I used sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and flax seeds. These are great for smaller birds. I simply weaved the string in and out of the fir cone and then weaved it upwards. Then tied the string together ready to be hung up. I scooped the peanut butter all over and around the fir cone, making sure it was completely covered. Once this was done, I mixed all the seeds together. I laid my fir cone within them, coating it with all the seeds on all sides. And it was done. It was really so much simpler to do than I thought. And after I finished, I hung it up outside. And in only a few moments, I had a few visitors. After a few days of sitting and bathing on my little island, I decided to explore a bit further down the river as it felt the sun was cooling me down. And I made myself comfortable on this little bank. Looking across the river, something caught my eye and I couldn't help but burst with excitement. So I crossed the river for a closer look. This hazel tree's leaves had just started to open. It was such a revitalizing, relieving moment, and my heart was full. As I was gazing at the new leaves, I looked down the stream to notice something else. There was an old oak that had sadly fallen over the river, but the branches in the air were new branches that the oak had grown since it had fallen branches that reached up and touched the sun to help it survive. It was this that made the sun look so beautiful as it shone over the river and it was this I was seeing for weeks. But I felt it was also a message, the spring metaphor I was longing for, that when things fall, they will rise again. But not only did these branches rise again, they were in the shape of a cross a symbol of a stara that symbolizes the four quarters of the year. So the next day I ventured back into the woods and I couldn't get over the message the woods was telling me. So I decided to come back with my paints to now paint what I could see and what the woods was telling me. I drew the rising branches of the oak 
but instead of just being branches, I felt they were arms, rising and reaching up to the sun, symbolizing the strength and determination of the spring coming back after the winter. But these arms belonged to someone, and I decided to draw myself in my purest form as Ostara. Ostara, or Eostra, is the goddess of spring, and she brings new life and fertility to the land. Whilst I drew the picture, I not only thought about the message the woods was giving me, but also thought about everything my mind wanted to achieve this next quarter of the year, and what new challenges and projects I wanted to do. The picture shows myself filling up with the sun's energy, so one day soon, this will be manifested into reality. Nature really is a wonderful thing. If we look close enough, there is always a message to see, whether it be through the sun's rays, a cross in a tree, or the new life being born again. All we need to do is simply look a little closer and trust that anything is possible. So now, Enchanted Ones, when we are ready, it is time for us to rise through last year's leaves and be born again. Thank you for watching Enchanted Ones and a truly blessed Ostara to you all. All my love, Alwyn.